Hey guys, I'm going to install the Kickstart KS1 on this uh, four-ton ream heat pump. But first, I'm going to show you what the inrush is without it. Get the camera over here. I'm going to start the unit for you. Got it on the common wire to the compressor there. Okay, 121.3, guys. Let me get this installed. I'm going to see what the difference is. Little start kit that the last companies out here worked on and replaced the original factory one with because it was leaking. Let's see what it does. Okay, guys, I'm going to see what it is here with the. Got the kickstart installed on it. Kickstart KS1 installed. All right, I think I'm gonna leave that on there. Okay, guys. Uh, there's been a little controversy about my two-wire kickstart that I added to my ream here in my last video. You know, the research that I've done tells me that this one is not like all the other two wires because it actually has a potential relay so it does not uh, you know it, even if it has to restart several times right close together it should do it every time just like you know the regular three wires so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple of quick tests here and just prove that to myself okay we got 93.3 that time I'll wait just a minute. I'm going to do it again here. Clear my meter out. It should be real consistent. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to do it again here right quick, guys. Every time. I think I'm gonna do it one more time, guys. Here we go, one more time. All right, guys, every time. That's three times in a row with the two wire kickstart just to prove that it does work like the literature says like the manufacturer states thanks for watching